every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. There are no shortcuts, there are no hacks. If you wanna take the easy road, I promise you it's longer and more painful than the hard road. If you set out and you say you're gonna do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your mother. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. In 10 years from now, nobody can do anything for you. That's gonna be the life that you created, not anybody else. You make your bed, you gotta lay in it. Let other people blame their parents, their boss, or the system. Let weaker people complain that the world isn't fair. You are the leader of your life. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. Make discipline part of your daily life, and your daily life will get better. It's learning to discipline this mind. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle. Emotion is a muscle. I don't negotiate with myself. Well, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to do this. Or I'll let me like two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that with me. For decades, I go, I say it, we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul fucking knows. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. But you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. Instead of letting your goals and your tasks and your health and your discipline waver, rise up and aggressively move forward down the path toward victory. You have no business being average, but now you justify it. You come up with these great reasons why you can't get up at five. You have these great reasons of why you have to do everything, why you don't execute, why you don't finish, why you don't follow through, why you say you don't exercise and you do it for about 10 days and you quit. You've got an excuse for why you're average. I guarantee you if you were humble enough, if you were hungry enough, if you really wanted what you said, you'd sit down and you'd study what you do and you'd say, I can do this better. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. When you leave what you're fighting for, what's your legacy, what you gonna do? You say you're a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you're a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you're a champ, do you have a mentality of a champ? The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. You've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment.